Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new version of the Power Toys Utility app for Windows 10 and Windows 11, which rolled out late yesterday in my region on the 4th of April. And the latest update, as we can see, is version 0 0.80, bumped up from version 0 0.79. Now, just on a side note, in case you're unaware, Power Toys can be downloaded from the Microsoft Store for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. And there's quite a lot going on in version 0 0.80, which now brings stability improvements, new features, and bug fixes. And Power Toys, over the last year or so, has almost become its own operating system because we have numerous utilities and tools and a lot of functionality has been added into the app over the last year or so. So... Microsoft giving this app quite a lot of attention. Now, just to go through some of the key highlights, um, it introduces desired state configuration support, which allows you to configure PowerToys settings using WinGet configuration. And then Peak, which is a screen preview utility, now supports WebP, WebM, and even audio files. So just to demonstrate what this is all about. Um, previously, as an example, you could open up... Um, files like images and now as we can see i've just got a quick little sample audio file here so if i click on that and we use control and space with the peak enabled in power toys we can now preview audio files so if you are using this feature this may be a nice move in the right direction so over and above images you now have support for webp webm and audio files as well and then fancy zones uh, Fancy Zones basically is a feature that's very similar to Snap Layouts and can be enabled by using Windows Shift and F and the feature is enabled. Um, Fancy Zones editor has been improved with automated UI testing and bug fixes. So they've brought a bit of stability to that feature which does get quite a lot of attention from Microsoft. And then the there is a quick access entry that's been added to the Power Toys flyout. And that's in the system tray. And if we click on our little icon in the system tray, we get quick access as I've posted on uh, previously. And if you want more information regarding quick access, I'll leave a video regarding this in the end screen. But now you'll see if we right click on that Power Toys in the system tray, we now have a quick access uh, entry that's been added which I think is a nice move and there we go it does exactly the same so that's just a little adjustment there and then the file locksmith modal can now wrap text across multiple lines and file locksmith basically uh, if we right click on a file and we hit to show more options in Windows 11 when the feature is enabled obviously you can um, use file locksmith to end the task and so on and apparently with this um the modal can now wrap text across multiple lines so that's a bit of an improvement there and um regarding file locksmith i'll also leave a video regarding this feature in the end screen if you'd like to know more about it and how to use the feature and those are some of the key highlights and um, there's a lot more going on and um, obviously there's numerous bug fixes so um, all the different utilities and tools to some extent or the other have received some improvement or fix. They've also improved the installer um, experience and updated documentation. And if you want to know more about what's in this release, you can just click on the release notes and that will take you directly over to uh, GitHub where you can check an in-depth change log of everything that's taken place with version 0 0.80 so that might be handy if you want some more info and the next update for power toys is expected um, to roll out during microsoft build 2024 in late may which will be at the end of next month so it'll be interesting to see what microsoft's going to push out with our next release of power toys but that's it version 0 0.80 now available and as mentioned, is available for Windows 10 and 11 from the Microsoft Store. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.